Hello friends, welcome to Cortex YouTube channel. In the last uh, one of the shots, uh, I have asked this question number 5 which reads like this. A 45 year old male with sudden chest pain and sweating. BP dropped to 80 by 50 following sublingual nitrates and the ECG is given below. Like what's your diagnosis? They have asked. So uh, let's uh, interpret the ECG as usual beginning with your rhythm. So if you look at the ECG here, so rhythm is seen, I have calculated in lead number 2. So look at the lead number 2. There are P waves followed by QRS, P wave followed by QRS, P wave followed by QRS. And the, all the P waves are looking similar. So and RR interval, look at the RR interval, whether it is regular or non-regular, irregular. 1, 2, 3, 1, so 3 and so almost it is 3 boxes regular. So it is it, the given ECG is in sinus rhythm so if you see it is seen in it is sinus rhythm next we have to calculate is your rate so rate is calculated by 300 divided by 300 by number of big boxes between RR interval so it's a 1 2 3 or 1 2 so it's a little, slightly more than 3 so let's consider it as 3 only so it's around 100 borderline okay it's actually if you calculate uh, very appropriately it comes around less than 100 so it is a normal rate rate is normal and there is uh, sinus rhythm is there so if you calculate now axis what you have to calculate is axis so how to calculate uh, axis now for that you have to see lead 1 and lead avf 1 and avf so both are up so it normal axis so let me write down the findings till now so there is normal sinus rhythm sinus rhythm normal rate that is around uh, around 100 or less than 100 and it, uh, axis is normal so till now it is normal and if you look carefully what is striking here is there is st elevation which is an emergency st elevation look at this lead 2 3 and avf there is st elevation in lead 2 3 and sorry lead 2 3 and avf if you look at the ecg carefully carefully you will see st elevation in v1 v2 also and little bit on v3 so v1 v2 also there is st elevation and if you look at carefully carefully avl shows there is reciprocal s3 depression so let me write down my findings new findings so there is st elevation i'll write it in red so that it suggests emergency there is st elevation in what all leads it is there in two three avf which suggests inferior wall mi and there is st elevation in v1 and v2 also and if you look at the carefully if you look at carefully so let me highlight here so the magnitude or the amplitude or magnitude of st elevation in the magnitude of st elevation in lead 3 look at this st elevation this magnitude and compare the st elevation magnitude in lead 2 which is more here st elevation in lead 3 is more than lead 2 the magnitude of st elevation in lead 3 is more than lead 2 so these are all the subtle points so if i will write here st elevation lead 3 is more than lead 2 so these two special findings in an inferior wall mi patient suggest involvement of right ventricle so rvmi there is a complicated rvmi is also there so inferior wall mi in any patient with inferior wall mi look at the involvement of rv right ventricular is involved or not because the uh, management differs if you give nitrates uh, in patients with inferior wall mi which in complicated by right ventricular involvement uh, the bp will drop they have uh, they these patients right ventricular mi patients are preload sensitive and they have accelerated response to nitrates so you should not give nitrates in these patients so first thing the important take home message from this video this today's learning is how to identify right ventricular wall mic around 40 percent of uh, inferior stemmies complicated by 
are right ventricular involvement so how to identify right ventricular involvement so i will write here 40 percent of inferior wall mis so how to identify right ventricular mi if you see st elevation st elevation in lead 3 more than lead to 1 point and st elevation in v1 v2 why v1 v1 is more important because v1 is the only lead which directly directly looks at your uh, right ventricle so these two are special points star marks and uh, yeah now the how to confirm this diagnosis so diagnosis is confirmed by diagnosis is confirmed by confirmed by right ventricular i'm uh, sorry right sided right sided leads so here this patient showed st elevation in right lead that is uh, v4 r right sided v4 v4 r if r is written here that is a suggestive of right sided lead so this is uh, uh, right ventricular uh, mi involvement right ventricular involvement and one more thing is they are preload sensitive so patients with rvmi they are preload sensitive so if you give nitrates bp will fall so nitrates should not given So yeah, this is about uh, this ECG and this question. So hope you like this video. Please share, subscribe to the channel. If you have any advice, opinion, please comment in comment section. Thank you.